The RSV Noyena is back in its home port of Hobart after completing a mission in Antarctica. But it's still not permitted under the Tasman Bridge because of concerns about its directional stability. If something the size of the Noyena even nudges against it, brushes against it, even at a very slow speed, that's going to be catastrophic. The ban came after a series of computer-based simulations were conducted to assess how the ship would likely perform during a bridge transit. You've got in the vicinity of 50% which didn't make the cut, so to speak. The Noyena is 35 metres wide and can fit between the bridge's two central pylons, which are 73 metres apart. But during 109 virtual simulations, the vessel came dangerously close to the pylons on 40 occasions. It also impacted the bridge four times and was on track to do so a further 10 times before those virtual test runs were called off. The assessment report obtained by the ABC also ruled out the use of tugboats to shepherd the Noyena past the pylons, saying it would very quickly escalate to both dire and fatal consequences if exercised in reality. Concerns about the impact of a bridge collision stem from a real-life incident in 1975, which cut the city in half and left 12 people dead. The harbour master says it's a risk he won't take with the Noyena. You'd lose the, the major part of Hobart's infrastructure being the Tasman Bridge joining the eastern and western shores, but you, it would result in further fatalities if that was to happen again. The decision means the Noyena is unable to refuel four kilometres away at Selfs Point and instead has to make a 660 kilometre journey to the state's northwest to fill up. The detour will add almost a million dollars to the Australian Antarctic Division's fuel bill this season. To help resolve the issue, the Tasmanian government is assessing the viability of a fuel barge here in Hobart. Jano Gibson, ABC News.